Hello everybody, you're welcome once again to your favorite YouTube channel where we provide information about the current happenings in health and where we can, we can trust us to give you only the right information. Any words that come out from our mouth is trusted. It has been verified so many times to make sure that whatever we say is correct. Okay, recently in the news, there is a case of black fungus, which is killing a lot of COVID patients after they are treated from the COVID disease. So we'll look at what the black fungus is and how does it spread so that we can protect ourselves against it you know it is easy it is better to to prevent a disease than to cure it when it it affects you all right it is better to prevent a disease than to allow yourself to be infected before you cure it all right so we look at how it spread and we look at the case of india in particular why so many deaths in only in india why is that we want to look at it and see and what is the relationship between COVID-19 and the black fungus? All right, so let's get into it. But before then, in case this is the first time you are watching my channel, remember to subscribe to the channel and be part of us as we go together, all right? The more we subscribe to it, the more YouTube recognizes the channel and it recommends it to other people. And the more the channel is recommended to other people, the more people get to hear this message and the more we are all protected together all right so let's get into it and if you are enjoying the video so far i would like you to give it a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up that encourages us to do more all right okay so let's get into what black fungus is the black fungus is also called the micro mycosis what is mycomycosis? What is it? Now, according to CDC, Center for Disease Control and Prevention, it is a fatal, it is a fatal but a rare fungal infection that is caused by a group of molds or yeast called the mycocytes. This fungi they live throughout the environment. They live throughout the environment. They can live in the soil and in decaying organic matter, such as leaves, compost piles, rotten wood. Now, so let's get to how does it spread? How does the mycomycosis spread one i'm going to give you three ways by which it spread number one contact with the spores you know true briefing in the spores when you get into contact with the spores it can get into your lungs and another way by which you can easily get this fungi is when your immune system is compromised, such as in the case of coronavirus, or in case you have coronavirus, in case you have uh, HIV, or in case you are on drugs or me medicines that lowers your immune system, you can get this, this fungi. In case you have a cut on your body, or scrap, burn, or other types of skin trauma, this all these ways provide an easy access of the fungi to enter into your body all right okay so why the case why so many deaths from this fungi in india now currently india is recording an unprecedented number of deaths from the coronavirus the hospitals are getting overwhelmed and there are shortages of oxygen. 
Okay. One way by which this fungi can get transmitted is when the immune system is lowered. Coronavirus makes sure the immune system is lowered. All right. It lowers the immune system. When the immune system is lowered, that serves as a way by which you can get this infection. So because of the high number of coronavirus cases in India, we are not surprised that the blood fungus is also very high. Okay, now during the treatment of the coronavirus, we use steroids. Now, the steroids are immunosuppressing drugs. It is used during the treatment of coronavirus. It is used to lower the, 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 the inflammation of the respiratory tract when the, the virus attacks the lungs. All right, so we use the steroids to lower the inflammation. That helps in keeping the patient, that, that enables the patient to respire. Now, this steroid usage during the treatment of coronavirus is like a double-edged sword. One positive side and one negative side. Now, the positive side is, is being able to reduce the inflammation for the COVID patients. That's one. The negative aspect is it lowers the immune system. When the immune system is lowered, what happened? Black fungus is happy to infect people and cause its havoc in the country. All right. Now, number three, we say that the, the, the spores of this fungi are in the atmosphere. That means on the surfaces of wherever you are, if those surfaces are not cleaned, those surfaces can be infected. All right. Now, in India, a lot of people are dying. There is pressure on the health system. So not much attention is being paid to their hygiene, the, 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 their hygienic procedures. And they don't follow the, the hygiene procedures that are laid down. Because there's so many who are dying, a lot of people are sick, they don't know what to do. So the hygiene is lowered. When the hygiene is lowered, what happened? Black fungus also is happy. To, to increase the infection. It affects a lot of people and we are not surprised that uh, there are people after getting healed from the coronavirus itself, they go home and die from the black fungus because the immune system is lowered by the treatment of the coronavirus and the coronavirus itself. So the black fungus serves as an opportunistic infection, an infection that affects people with weakened immune system. So they take advantage of the, the fact that the immune system is lowered and infect the people. It's like they take they take advantage of the, the weakened immune system. So we say it's an, an opportunistic infection. You know, they are just there waiting. Immediately the, the person's immune system is, is weakened. They take advantage of it. That is the same thing that happened in HIV patients. The virus destroy the lymphocytes. When that happens, the immune system is lowered. So all sorts of infections can attack them now and they don't have any defense system to fight back. So those kind of infections that affect someone due to lowered immune system is called opportunistic infection. So if someone going to go to the hospital, you can hear that. They said this one is an opportunistic infection. I think we've gotten something here today. So when the doctors talk about that, you understand. All right. And another way by which this blood fungus is transferred is it is very high in people with diabetes. Diabetes. What does diabetes do? Now, because there's so much high amount of glucose in the body, it doesn't allow the, the immune cells to move freely to chase this fungi and this bacteria around in the body. You know, it doesn't allow them to move freely to attack these germs due to the high amount of glucose in the body. As a result of that, the immune system is lowered. So the, those other pathogens too can come inside, as in the case of blood fungus. All right. 
So, how do we prevent? How do you prevent the black fungus that is occurring in India? How do you prevent it in India and in general? Number one, the immune system should be boosted. How? How should we boost the immune system? One, a diabetic patient must follow the, treat, the correct treatment strictly. That's the right word to use. Like, the, the correct treatment should be followed strictly. That is number one. Because when you treat the diabetes, the sugar levels in your blood will come down. When the sugar levels will come down, when the, the sugar level in your blood is down, what happens? Your different system, that's your immune cells, will be able to chase any foreign body that enters your body and attack them. All right. And number two, the, 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 the hygiene procedures must be followed strictly. There should be hand washing, the, the, the distancing, the physical distancing, which is very difficult in India in this current time because, because of a high prevalence of the coronavirus. So we wish India very well. We, we wish India well. We wish that all the measures they are putting in place will be effective. You know, but it should try. They are doing well. They are doing work because they didn't just fold their hands and looking on and see how the disease kills the people. They are putting in the effort. But we hope that as time goes on, with the measures put in place, everything will be well with India. You know, Indians are people who watch my videos a lot. Like, Indians are very regular users of my channel. So I feel like. Uh, I am an Indian in some way because you know we are we are exchanging information. They ask, they comment, and they ask questions. They watch the videos. They react. They share the videos and all of that. So I feel like India is. I'm very much connected to India. All right. So anytime something is not going well with India, I feel concerned. I feel concerned. Okay. So the third thing to do to, in order to prevent the spread of this black fungus disease. The, the, the treatment that has been given in India right now currently is an antifungal intravenous injection, which is the cost is 3,500 rupees. That is $48 a per dose. And that dose is supposed to be taken every day up to eight weeks. I mean, that's a lot of money. This is not going to be something for the poor people in India. That's a lot of money. It's expensive. Now, the question someone might ask is, why is the name given to this particular fungus is black fungus, black fungus? Okay, the name black is because of the result that is produced as there is as as a consequence of the actions of this fungi. What do I mean by that? When this fungus enters the respiratory system, it enters the sinuses of the face. Now, what happens as a result of that is there is ischemia. That means it blocks the vessels that supply. The sinuses black, leading to what? Ischemia. Now, when there is ischemia, the tissues die in a process called necrosis. And when there is necrosis, the resulting tissues becomes black in color. So they give this particular fungus black fungus. You know, there are two doctors on YouTube who really tackle this issue very well in case you are interested in them i'll give you the name they are dr mobin and dr campbell you can check them out they've done a, a really thorough in-depth discussion on this black fungus disease you can check them out for more information on this disease okay that is what i have for you in this video kindly subscribe to the channel 
And remember to give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.